1992, Anna Nicole Smith joined the exclusive ranks of the Playboy Playmates. But 15 years later, the blonde bombshell joined a far more unfortunate club, the Sisterhood of Dead Centerfolds. As the stories of playmates who died under tragic and mysterious circumstances have mounted, the question has arisen. Are the beauties featured in the foldouts tempting a dark fate? At number seven on our list, the Centerfold Curse. Since Playboy magazine began publishing in the 1950s, scores of beautiful young women have bared all for the magazine's centerfold. Anna Nicole Smith is the brashest blonde of them all. I love you. Anna Nicole died tragically of a drug overdose at age 39. Hers is the latest chapter in a much larger and more haunting mystery. A lot of people think there's a curse on Playboy centerfolds. There's been 25 centerfolds who have died. The curse, if one exists, began with the biggest headline-grabbing playmate death of them all, Marilyn Monroe, cover girl for the very first issue. Monroe died at 36 of a mysterious drug overdose. The chemical dependency, the champagne and sleeping pills caught up with her. The next centerfold to meet an untimely end was Jane Mansfield, Miss February 1955. On the outside, Jane seemed to have it all, but inside, the busty blonde movie star was suffering. I have wonderful happy moments, but I think a person who is tremendously complicated and involved, I don't think that person would ever, you know, really be a contented, happy person. By 1967, Mansfield was desperate to find happiness by advancing her career. But did she use her smoldering good looks to cut a deal with the dark side? Mansfield became close, some say too close, to the leader of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey. She would call my grandfather at all hours of day and night. They spent more and more time together. She ended up um, sort of taking my grandfather on as as personal and spiritual consultant. 34-year-old Mansfield may have sensed that something wasn't right. She decided to cut her ties to LaVey and the church. When she left the church, Anton LaVey goes to her and he says, look, I put a curse on your boyfriend, Sam Brody, so don't be alone with him. She didn't think anything of it. Several weeks later, they were driving in Louisiana and the car they were in smashed into the back of a tanker truck that was spraying for mosquitoes. Jane Mansfield died instantly and gruesomely. The centerfold was nearly decapitated. Was it the devil collecting his debt? It is a fact that just before discovering that Jane had died uh, in that automobile accident, that my grandfather had cut an article out of the newspaper and turned it over to find out that he had accidentally cut her head out of the flip side of the page. But Mansfield wouldn't be the last centerfold to meet an untimely death. In 1980, just months after becoming Playmate of the Year, 21-year-old Dorothy Stratton was viciously killed by her estranged husband. In a jealous rage, Paul Snyder bound Dorothy to her bed, shot her in the face, then committed suicide. Car accidents, drug overdoses, murders. In all, 25 glamorous Playmates have died too soon, which brings up the question, is it a curse to be beautiful? When we return, did a lyrical love note to the devil unleash a chaotic curse on this band of Brits? When you reverse that, you hear a voice that says, here's to my sweet Satan. 